What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine Fox tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a simple volume slider so you can change your volume from the menu in your game. This is going to be a very easy video to follow so let's get started. But first, check out the link in the description to get our some Unreal Engine courses on WinFox. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is create a new widget. So right click in your content browser, go to user widget and widget blueprint. So let's go ahead and create a new user widget wp underscore slider uh, well you know music slider or volume whatever you want to go ahead and call it let's go ahead and open this up let's go ahead and put it in here and then let's go ahead and open a canvas and just put it in the hierarchy so we can place anything on our widget i'm going to go ahead and get a slider and just put it right now in the middle of the screen and we have a tutorial on a full um settings menu with the basics on so if you want i'll go ahead and leave it in the description just in case you want to go ahead and add this into that existing one anyway let's go ahead and anchor this into the middle for now and then kind of center this over here actually kind of put this in zero zero and then we can go ahead and put an alignment of 0.5 and 0.5 is now perfectly at the middle so now we want to start out with a value of one and make the minimum value zero but the max value two so now we'll basically have just overall two values over here so it will be pretty much no volume but a bit of volume and full volume okay of course you can customize this as you want this personal preference but it is how i'm gonna go ahead and do so i'm gonna go ahead and also increase a bit the bar thickness maybe that was too much but but yeah it's just how you want to do it and then we can go ahead and compile and save so let's go into the graph over here and we're going to delete everything except for our slider going to go ahead and select it and go into we're going to go back to the designer selected go down and in events we can see on value changed let's go ahead and click the plus button so create a new event and now what we can do is just go ahead and call the set sound mix mix class override all right so what this is doing just go ahead and we'll access a sound class and then we can go ahead and uh, you know override the settings over here in our case the volume so if we go into um master which is the one that you want of course there's millions of uh, there's a few ones already created for us and you can go ahead and create new ones in that case we're gonna do today the just general master volume your whole game okay if you want i can make a tutorial and separate into music into uh, the sound effects etc now make sure that you have um, in settings show engine and plugin content enabled and then the value we can plug it in into volume and then we need one more node over here which is push sound makes modifier so it will go ahead and apply those settings now we have to go ahead and create that sound mix modifier so just go ahead and open it over here and yeah we cannot create it from there so let's go here go into sounds and then you search for the mix sound class mix and then go ahead and create this so in our case it will be kind of the i don't know the master volume and then go ahead and open this up and the only thing that we have to do right now is just go into the sound class effects add a new one and then this one will be our master so again you can go ahead and choose whatever you want or create new ones new sound classes and add it but in our case we're gonna do the general sound of the game okay all right so now we can go ahead and add that master volume on there and in sound mix modifier again add it over there and now we can go ahead and compile and save so now if we go ahead and open our third person character and let me go ahead and delete that and now it's tutorial let's go ahead and now create the widget so we'll appear in our scene um create widget then go ahead and select our volume slider the only in place is going to be the get player controller and then lastly we need to go ahead and get the return value and add it into the viewport and now with all set we can just compound and save go back press play and you'll see that we have our slider so now there's not any volume playing so we can go ahead and get some volume so i do have some sounds let me organize this into uh, what is it what is it sounds and we have some sound uh sound wave all right uh, let's get for example i guess 
smoke. I guess that will be a good one. You know, something that is looping or actually fire. Yeah, fire is gonna be good. Let's go ahead and drag that in into our scene. So now, if I hit play, you will see that yeah, the slider is now playing, you know, normal volume, I guess. If I decrease it, it goes ahead and goes. And then if I increase it, it really increases. And it goes ahead and has like a smooth, you know, value to it. So it kind of transition smoothly. So it's really cool. And again, you can use whatever sound you want, of course. And also, for example, play it directly from the level. So play sound to D. And then I choose, for example, uh, I, th I think we have the starting music or something like that. Yeah. All right. For example, I play. And we'll see that when I l lower it, it lowers and increases then. Then the thing is that you can go ahead and open each, you know, sound wave and change the, uh, sorry here, the, the class. For example, it will auto default into master, even though it wasn't selected, but you can put in whatever category you want, you know, to organize your sounds again. So yeah, guys, that was a very simple tutorial. If you found it helpful and useful, I would really appreciate you glad to be subscribed to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 tutorials, so go ahead and check them out. Join my Discord, I have just opened it, so link in the description. And one more thing real quick, is that you can also go ahead and show mouse cursor from the Get Player Controller. Show mouse cursor. Set show mouse cursor into true. And then set uh, mode to UI only. All right, and then you can we'll see that I cannot move my player, but I can also always move the, the volume slider. Okay, they just to to put the UI. But of course, I will have it in my options menu to tile. All right, so now yes, with that said, bye bye. Thank you.